What's up everybody? Today I'm going to be installing this Hobbywing Max 6 into my Traxxas X Max in place of this thing. So there actually is nothing wrong with this VXL 8S and it's been very good. Even though what people say about it, it's actually really good for me because it's never ever blown up or anything. It had any cogging problems or anything like that. No power delivery problems. It's been a really great ESC. But this... Just has more power and I had it laying around from my Italian 8S build. So I thought I'd chuck it in and get more power. And also I don't exactly want to change the connectors on here just yet. Probably will anyways. But Traxxas batteries are crazy expensive. Their 4S 6700 milliamp hour battery is $150 or $160. That's actually insane. But this has EC5 connectors on it, and the batteries that I'm running are Power Hobby 4S 5200 milliamp hours, and they are two for 120. That is by far a better deal. So that's just why I'm just taking this thing out. So let's just jump straight into the build and show you everything that you need to take off, and I'll go over it step by step. So first, you're gonna have to take off this big gray kind of center brace thing here in the very middle of the chassis. It's got one, two, three, four, five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve screws holding it on and for these screws that go on there you'll have to take off the skid plate with is eight screws and just get that off it's pretty simple to get into your receiver to change all that you just have to take off one two three and then four on the other side pretty simple not really much that you're doing, but it's a little bit more complicated than you probably first thought. Literally all of it is with a 2.5 millimeter hex. And I'll be putting it in this thing because that makes it a billion times faster. So let's just put it on time lapse and here we go. So to take off the chassis brace on the other side of the truck, it's just four screws. This one, this one, this one, this one, and then it's out. And then we have to take out the receiver, which is just the four screws I showed you, and it's super simple from there on. I got an owie from this part right here where this stupid thing wouldn't come out, and it cut me into bleeding but who cares so now that we got a receiver out we can just take this part off because there is a little over oops, overlap right there where this thing comes in so we can just take it out but you have to uh, it's weird it's really tight okay yeah this is gonna be staying on it so you just take out the receiver box cover and everything and then unloosen it from channel two. Cause this wire is super short. This ESC is not gonna come out without it. And to get the actual ESC out, you just take out two screws right there. Oh, the other one's already falling out, but it goes right there. Very simple, just pull and it's out. So this, this wire is super short from the factory because ESC is literally right next to the opening of the receiver and the receiver itself. So you don't exactly need anything very long. Okay, I'm gonna have to get this out off camera. And now that you've taken out the receiver wire, your ESC is now free. And it also takes off this cover. So I kinda wanna see what's underneath there. Huh. Just this big giant fan and a heat sink underneath. I don't know why I never thought this thing actually had a heat sink. Must have been just me. But hopefully I can just replace this fan with the one in the Max 6 because this one is broken and missing a fan blade so the csc is done i can retire it so next thing i'm going to do is clean this all up and clean the bottom of the esc up because i'm going to be sticking it down with the infamous flex glue and we can finally see if this thing is all what it's chalked up to be
ESC is in. The flex glue should be very, very strong and cushion it as well. That's why I put so much on so it'll have some kind of cushion when it lands. But the downside of this flex glue is I think it'll be a very, 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 very big pain to get out. So you notice how I put my Hobby Wing ESC in this way because the motor wires are going to have to come directly down into it. Push in. Good thing they're 6.5 millimeters and you don't have to change them. So everything should just go back in exactly as it came out. And I see a lot of people cut off this little holder for the wires there. I'm going to leave it on and see how it'll do because I think it'll just stay on there and be fine. The stuff you saw me putting on there was dielectric grease, which is electricity capacitor, the grease. So I put some dielectric grease on where it plugs into the receiver and I just use it as waterproof sealant for there because it also is waterproof. These wires, I'm just going to zip tie them to the brace once I put it on and everything should go back in the exact way it came out. So you're gonna have to cut off this little tab here because the black wire can't reach fully over and get in there without it. So now all I have to do is plug my motor wires in, put some batteries in, and then just do the ESC up and calibrate it and I'll show you how to do that. And then I'll just program it. It gives you instructions for that. So, and then we'll just take it for a quick little rip just to see how I like it. So to calibrate your ESC, you have to have your transmitter binded to your receiver, so green and green. And before you do this, you just want to have your steering trim, and if it's a Traxxas system, your multifunction tab at centered. So to start the process, just hold the set button and turn on the ESC, but hold the set button until the ESC starts flashing red. So the ESC starts flashing, you tap it once with the transmitter in neutral, then you tap it with the transmitter at full throttle, it'll do it twice, and then you go to full reverse or full brake, and you tap it another time and it'll do it three times. And now it's set and it'll blink how many lipo cells you have in, and all you want to do is just turn it off. So I promise to run. And let's get that over with because it is really getting dark fast. I plugged it in and test drove it a few seconds ago and so far it looks like miles faster. Yeah, it is. It has so much more punch. Max punch setting because I ain't no wuss. And this thing is actually really moving. It's like a million times faster than what it used to be. Oh! <laughs> oh. Yes, we're on wheels. It could probably do a standing backflip if I took off the wheelie bar. Whoa. Wow. My God. Set the jump. Nailed it. This car sounds really fun again. Wow, gosh, this thing is, this thing is really good now. Ugh. Wow. Man, I see why all the people like Kevin Talbot have this thing in here. This is nuts. Stock ESC has nothing on this. This is great. All right, guys. That's it for this video. Wow, this is really good. I, I think you'll be very impressed with the results. This is an extremely powerful ESC, and it has really woken this truck up. Hopefully, it's not too harsh and everything like the spur gear. Still, still on stock spur gear, and I will hold that spur gear until the day it dies. Hopefully it just doesn't strip out the diffs or anything, mostly the rear diff, but I think the center diff will do its job and it'll be totally fine. First impression seems amazing and I would totally recommend that you get it. 
So guys, thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Bye.